All right, what's up guys? We're back here with another album review and today we're looking at Slipknot's first album, Slipknot. That's literally what it's called. Um, now this isn't the first time a band has named an album after themselves. I mean, System of a Down has one, Metallica has one, um, Korn has one, but you know, that's just how it goes. But this is the self-titled Slipknot album. I mean, Black Veil Brides has one, but, um, anyway, self-titled Slipknot album. Um, I don't like this one as much as Iowa, but it's still got a lot of really great songs on it, but it's also got a couple that are just meh, like, uh, Only One is okay, I didn't like Scissors, I thought that was garbage, Prosthetics is alright, there's a couple songs in here that I was kinda iffy about, but... There are some great ass songs on here like uh fucking uh Ior and uh God I can't even fucking remember now. Um I'll spit it out on this one, I forgot about that. Uh but, uh, yeah, this album's got a lot of really uh, great songs on it. Um, but I feel like, because this was Slipknot's debut album, I feel like this is the album that shot them into pop popularity. Definitely. I mean, this was the thing that shot them into popularity. I know... This was just the thing that made them popular, I think. That's my personal opinion, but, uh... Um... And, of course... The dude with the long nose is still in the band at this point. But, uh... Um... What else to say about this fucking album? Um... I'd say... People are going to murder me for this one, but for heaviness purposes, I think this is their least. Because this album's also got Sick and Liberate on it. This is my least favorite Slipknot album, but it's still a really good album. Because something that I joke about with my friends um, Slipknot this is when they were still using the uh, DJ thing the whoosh, whoosh, just like the DJ board <laughs> but <laughs> you can hear like the I'm like we used to joke around like whenever we were listening to this album we're like oh Corey's Corey's on the DJ stand again it's just like I don't even know. Because this is when they were still using that stupid DJ stand, and I've, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. And then they got their beer keg, of course. <laughs> Slipknot is a unusual band. But, um... Yeah, definitely weakest album for me, but I still really enjoyed it. I listened to it again last night just to get the full feel of it. Oh, shit. I gotta call back. Uh, remember to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.